The European Union pledged 1 billion euros, 1.15 billion dollars, in support for the Afghan people, and the group of 20 countries vowed to accelerate aid Tuesday amid concerns that an already precarious humanitarian and financial situation will grow catastrophic over the winter. G20 leaders demanded at a virtual summit hosted by Italy that the Taliban government allow humanitarian access across Afghanistan, keep Kabul airport and the country's borders open and ensure security for UN, humanitarian and diplomatic staff. They also repeated previous demands that women's rights be respected. Italian Premier Mario Draghi said the meeting represented the first multilateral response to the crisis sparked by the August withdrawal of US forces from Afghanistan and the takeover of the country by the Taliban. Draghi told reporters that negotiations would be necessary with the Taliban to get humanitarian aid distributed. But he said such contact by no means constituted a political recognition of the Taliban, who he said would be judged for what their deeds are, not their words. G20 leaders, Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese leader Xi Jinping were represented by ministers while US President Joe Biden addressed the summit, tasked the United Nations with coordinating the humanitarian response and asked international financial institutions to ensure the functioning of Afghanistan's financial system. The UN has warned that the Afghan economy is on the verge of collapse. Afghanistan, which before the Taliban takeover was dependent on international aid that accounted for 75% of state spending, is grappling with a liquidity crisis as assets remain frozen in the US and other countries, and disbursements from international organizations have been put on hold. During the meeting, the European Union announced a support package worth 1 billion euros, 1.15 billion dollars, which includes 300 million euros, 346 million dollars, that had been committed earlier. It will be targeted at the Afghan population only in neighboring countries, which have been the first to provide immediate aid. The EU remains careful not to legitimize the Taliban interim government. The White House said the US remains committed to working closely with the international community and using diplomatic, humanitarian, and economic means to address the situation in Afghanistan and support the Afghan people. Spokeswoman Jen Psaki noted at a White House briefing that the U.S. was the single biggest donor to Afghanistan, providing $330 million this year alone. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said in a video address to the online summit that the international community should keep the channels of dialogue with the Taliban open in order to patiently and gradually steer it toward establishing a more inclusive administration. He repeated that Turkey, which already hosts more than 3.6 million Syrians, can't be burdened with an influx of migrants from Afghanistan. Erdogan proposed the creation of a working group on Afghanistan within the G20 and said Turkey was willing to head such a grouping.